I started YouTube in 2006, July 16th, 2006 to be exact. My YouTube page is 10 years old. Hi, I'm Jamie Harper. I'm, I'm doing Google quite forbidden. I'm outside. Yeah, it's, it's only forbidden because I'm a homeschooler. I started YouTube on July 16th, 2006. So in a few months, I will be on YouTube for four years. And I've never even said, what's up, I'm Jamie Grace, and here's what I do. So what's up, I'm Jamie Grace. Hi, I'm Jamie Grace. Hey YouTube, Jamie Grace here. Hey guys, Jamie Grace here. Hey YouTube, sorry, I'm trying to make you straight. Okay. Um, Jamie Grace here. Hello, my name is Jamie Grace. I'm 15 years old, and this is a song that I wrote for the Jonas Brothers. Hey YouTube, Jamie Grace here. Oh my God, to go on stage in my life, man. Oh, <laughs> oh there's other things. Oh, hey, I was still fixing my hair. Okay, it's Sammy Grace, and I've got three really quick updates, and i got to get back to recording. Hello, all. My name is Sammy Grace. I'm a 15-year-old singer, songwriter, drummer. Guys, it's Sammy Grace. What's up, guys? It's Sammy Grace. Do you recognize this room? I'm home for the summer. Hello, everyone. My name is Sammy Grace. I'm 15 years old. I'm a singer, songwriter, drummer. Guys, it's Sammy Grace. What's up, guys? It's Sammy Grace. I'm 15 years old. I'm a singer, songwriter, drummer. Guys, it's Sammy Grace. Hello, everyone. My name is Sammy Grace. I'm 15 years old. I'm a singer, songwriter, drummer. Guys, it's Sammy Grace. Hey, guys. It's Sammy Grace. Hello. I'm Jamie Grace. I sing as well, and I rap, um, but, yeah. I'm 18 years old. I started YouTube way back in the day with, oh my gosh, the most embarrassing videos in the world. I am so glad some of them are private now. <laughs> I would have like a bandana on my head and like these shirts and I'd be sitting like this close to the camera and, I'm like, oh. and um, I would just be like rambling about nothing. So I'm gonna have to stop the tape. I know that you guys enjoy hearing me talk because I'm just like so fabulous. But um, okay, yeah. Like I am doing now. <laughs> okay, you will not believe what just happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, we were in line to meet Hawk Nelson. I get to the last guy and he goes, You look so familiar. I was like, Yeah, you know, I come to your shows, whatever. And I was like, You might see me in a drum off next year, a guitar stage drum off, whatever. He was like, I'll be a drummer. He was like, wait, I know where I'm making from. I was like, what? He was like, you made that video about Ross or Blues not getting to come today. I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> okay, I'm video tape. You gotta wave at the camera really quick. Oh, okay, wait. Like, <laughs> you guys watch YouTube? Okay, you're gonna be on YouTube. Is that cool with you guys? I'm here to interview you guys. Oh yes, we both go one day. Ow. <laughs> yeah. You guys know that I play drums. I'm really big on improvisation, and so it's typically it typically is the lyrics that come first with me. Music is definitely a vital part of everything that I like. That is earthly. Uh, I'm always singing or trying to dance or playing drums or guitar, or trying to play piano or something music related. So it definitely has a, a, a strong part in who I am. I want to be a youth minister and I want to have my own TV show. I'm not, I'm not really sure what kind though. I mean, what started out as um, just some kid, me, <laughs> that um, was like in love with singing, you know, um, and um, a little improvisation that I did call like Escape from Homeschooling. You know, um, it, it, it's, um, it's crazy that, that now that, that series, um, thanks to you guys for sharing it, people, now that, that homeschool series is on a TV show, I'm so grateful um, for you all's support. I'm just so thankful to have have hit um, a thousand and now over a thousand subscribers. It's it's crazy, and now I'm not just a kid hollering karaoke tunes. I'm actually taking requests and trying to sing the songs that I know you guys like because I'm so thankful for your support. A and R people aren't blaring on my doorbell and front door, but but you guys take the time to like 
subscribe to me and, and check out my updates and all this stuff and, and that's crazy to me. It's it's exciting. It's a it's a good crazy. Now we remember why we are here and who truly is amazing. Amen. I get that. I'm 15 years old and I'm founder of Teens with Tourette Syndrome, which is a website that I started for teenagers with Tourette Syndrome to kind of like get together and talk and stuff. This question is for anybody who has ever laughed at anybody with Tourette Syndrome. And the question is, why? If people turn you away, if kids laugh at you, then, I mean, you know, they probably weren't worth the friendship. Sometimes I'd be like kicking and I would like hit you and stuff with my foot. So I guess it's kind of more target to mom. So what would you tell a parent they have violent tics? Well, I believe that the first thing is you have to not make a very, try as best as you can not to make a very big deal out of the tics because that makes the child feel even more uncomfortable. So a lot of times if you would kick me or hit me, and uh, hurt me with ticks, I would act like it wasn't a big deal, even though it really did hurt. But I did that because I didn't want you to think that you were hurting me. It's not so you got a bad deck of cards or I got a bad hand for life, but that all of us are going to be, all of us are going to suffer with something or have some issue with whatever the case may be. And throughout life, we just learn how to survive, manage, and work through it. Uh, because life uh, is full of joy. But we have to find find that joy and find that peace uh, and not depend on our circumstances given to us. That's the way life is. We don't get a chance to write our own script. We just act out the parts. Jamie Grace, Tim Howard. Hey, Jamie, Tim I Howard. think you know who Tim Howard is. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, okay. I'm a young musician, so I came up to Nashville. Oh, yeah. What do you do? I sing, play drums, and guitar. Very so, cool. Do you not do a little bit more than sing, play drums, and guitar? <laughs> um, I'm a Isn't filmmaker. That a trombone That's or awesome. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> Thanks for telling that you're doing that. That's, uh, that's pretty inspirational in yourself. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I guess I encourage kids so much. It's just great to know that there's yes. someone that I can look up to as oh, well. Oh, I appreciate it. that. That's very nice to say. Turn this thing off. Where's the red bucket? 
Right below my sister, or kind of head to head, is um, MOC. Um, and then in no particular order, everybody after that, it's just Tiffany, uh, Thurston, Natalie Grant, Nicole Nordeman, Switchfoot, Hawk Nelson, The Format, Early November, Zoe Girl, Aisha Woods. Uh, I ran out of people. <laughs> I love like so many artists. And if I even tried to name them all Johnny Cash, then I would, <laughs> I would seriously forget at least 30,000. I love Reva. She's one of my favorite artists too. I love Reba. She's gosh, she's hilarious. <laughs> I had to get my last name. But then we came home. I was on YouTube. I would sweat your brain. And we we were looking at the fish ball. <laughs> That's not nice. And there's no fish in it. Stop! I just don't make you feel not, no comment. <laughs> It was uh, just gone. Jamie flushed it down the toilet and she just hasn't admitted it yet. No, serious. It was no fish. And it's not, she was jealous because she didn't have a fish. So she figured she had to keep it in mind. We think that this is the theory that Morgan flushed it down the sink. I did not. He flipped out somewhere. You don't water, Morgan. But he still. I did not let him So that concludes our video diary. Orlando is gone forever. He's going to Florida. He's going to Florida. It's basically my birthday. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> When you were little and you had Capri Sun, did you ever do this? Legitimate snow. This is stuff in Atlanta. Is <sighs> yay! It's ice on the leaves. Can you hear the sound? Can you feel the pound? Can you feel it in the ground? Whoa. Doesn't make you wanna move. Can you feel the groove? Got me dancing on the rooftop. Cause I wanna rock. Station contest for the song Wanna Rock. If you go to my Pop Station profile, you can hear the full version of Wanna Rock, and you can also click the check mark to vote for me in the contest. Thank you guys so much in advance. us girls we get all nervous thinking that there's like no guy out there for us and all the good guys are taken and everything and 
um, I say in the song, you know, I'm only 16, so right now I'm not thinking about that to the by this extent, but sometimes I do worry about it or it does pop into my head, you know. Basically, this is just saying, you know, just keep on waiting. Don't go out there and try to force yourself on any guy, you know. There is a problem, more than likely, there's a guy out there for you. Than the words in my brain could express. I love you more each day. Don't know how to love you less. Oh, I love the way you hold me. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I love the way you hold me. Whoa, oh, oh. People aren't familiar with YouTube blogging and they're like, Why are you talking to yourself? I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. So grateful and thankful for all you done. Wish. I make short videos for my church and my school, as well as random videos that I often share with my YouTube page. I recently reached over 1,100 subscribers, and I'm almost at 30,000 channel views. In total, my videos have over 100,000 views. I love the way you hold me by my side. You'll always be. You take each and every day, make it special in some way. I love the way you hold me in my heart. You'll always be. Lamest way to be asked out. Um, a text message. Yes. Or a Facebook message. Any type of technology. Face to face is the only way. Facebook chat. Mm. Hey. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't really like. Oh my gosh. I hate when I'm like at the mall or something. Hey, uh, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh really? Gosh. Could you tell me? You mean the one in the corner that's hiding? Right. That's really attractive. attractive. <laughs> The way you hold me. I came up out of the water. I raised my hands up to the Father. I gave it all to Him that day. I felt a new wind kiss my face. Walked away, eyes wide open. I could finally see where I was going. It doesn't matter where I've been, I'm not the same that I was there.
how great thou art. Um, um, a while back, uh, I think it was in December, we did a uh, guitar from you, um, and you signed it in August, and we actually brought it to a little girl who has been waiting for a heart transplant, and yesterday she got the call that she was getting a heart, and she had surgery today, and so far so good. Um, she is out of surgery now, so... We all have a story to tell and we all deserve for our voice to be heard. Dancing my way into that place where souls get lost, lines get crossed, and the pain won't go away. I hit my knees and here I stand. There I was, now here I am. But, you know, there's a purpose for everything. That's why I sing that for my dogs, you know. I want to show people that you don't have to read. I can branch out and I can be me. You know, I'm, I might not ever make it to where Natalie Grand is. I might not ever be Aisha Williams, but, you know, I, I want it. And uh, I'm going to keep striving for it.